Ah, Nashville. When most people think of the Music City, they think about Broadway, with live music pouring out of dozens of venues at the same time, at practically all hours of the day or night. But let's say you want a little quiet time before or after a night on the town. Is there a place to go to enjoy a scenic walk or jog? You bet there is. And in this video, I'll show you how to get there and what vistas will be waiting for you. So here's an aerial look at Nashville, with Broadway serving as the nexus of activity. Note all the hotels within a couple blocks of this central artery. If you're staying at any of them, you probably know how to get to Broadway, and if you know how to get to Broadway, you can easily find my route. If you're north of Broadway, just follow Broadway East toward the river until you get to 3rd Avenue, then head south. If you're further south, say, around the convention center, you can take Demundrian East, then head north once you hit 3rd. Halfway in between Broadway and Demundrian on 3rd Avenue, you'll find this the John Siegenthaler Pedestrian Bridge. Built in 1909, and at different times serving rail and vehicle traffic, the bridge fell into disrepair and was slated for demolition near the end of the 20th century. Thankfully, it was spared the wrecking ball, refurbished, and converted to a pedestrian bridge in 2003. The bridge has a steep grade on each side, but once you get to the middle, you're treated to sweeping views of downtown Nashville. Nissan Stadium flanks the far shore of the Cumberland River, and this is where you'll go if you want to log a bit more mileage. From one side of the bridge to the other, it's just under half a mile, but if you've made it all the way across, you might as well stroll toward the river's edge to see Nashville from yet another vantage point. The East Bank Greenway, though short, is a pleasant couple blocks along the river, and it ends about a mile from the start of the bridge, so you could do this as a nice two-mile out-and-back route. Going completely around the stadium would result in a similar total distance. The distance around the stadium is just about a mile, so if you wanted more, just add an extra lap or two, then finish with more views climbing up over the bridge again. Or if you wanted even more intensity, try running some intervals up the steep section. One last note, and perhaps this goes without saying, but you would definitely want to avoid this route on any day that Nissan Stadium hosts a game, concert, or some other event you'd be sharing the bridge with thousands of other pedestrians, none of whom would be amused by your interval training or slow meandering. On those days, your best bet is to find a ticket to said event or enjoy a slightly quieter Broadway while everyone else heads east. Okay, who are we kidding? There is no quieter Broadway, but at least now you've got a point-to-point -point route whenever you need a little break from the action. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for future content. Thanks for watching.